exact analysis. Okay, uh, and this is a method of receiving and sending back a report, a um, a project from your company. Okay. Uh, not every company out there that uses Xactimate for estimates uses exact analysis, but some do, and Custer does. Okay, so what I'd like to do is I'd like to have you just take a look at my screen for a minute or two here, okay? Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go back to my control center, okay, and get rid of this view. We haven't talked about the bottom here of this control center, but you'll see it says exact analysis, exact analysis communications. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to hit this connect button. Okay, you see connect there? I'm going to click on connect. Okay, and this is going to connect to the internet, connect to uh, exact analysis. Um, now, I have given Brian my exact net address. So what he's done is he's, uh, he's put a uh, mock claim for me in the system, okay, and I am going to be receiving it through my exact net address through exact analysis. Okay. And wait till it's done. It's going to give me all my updates and everything since the last time I've connected. Okay, just a second. Close this window upon successful completion. Processing it. And then I should have to receive it in my inbox. A second. Okay. There it is. Okay. So take a look here. I've received a read-only price list and an Xactimate assignment. Okay, so I'm going to accept this, and I'm going to accept this. And I'll explain in a little bit why I'm accepting both. Okay, now, heretofore, we've spent our time in the Control Center tab. We haven't spent much time on price list, and we haven't spent much time on projects. Okay, and the reason is we really haven't had to. All right. So if I'm back at the control center tab, what I'm going to see here is I'm going to see my last ten or so. See how many they're doing now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. These are going to be the last few projects that I've touched that I've been messing with, and that's why they're here. But my full list of projects in my system is here under my Projects tab. See that? And there's actually more you can do here. You can't delete a project over in Control Center, but projects, you can delete a project. You can also rename projects and whatnot. But take a look at what I got here. I got um, a new assignment here called Jim underscore Smith for an insured named Jim Smith. And my status says A in progress instead of just in progress. And that A lets me know that this is an assignment. Okay, this, is, this has been assigned to me through exact analysis. So I'm going back over to my control center. Uh, where I also had it, okay, and I'm going to open this guy up in theory. Give me just a second. Now, the cool thing about uh, receiving your projects as an assignment is typically you are going to, um, typically, if you receive an assignment, you are going to have all your information or a lot of your information pre filled out, pre-populated. Look, I've got the insured's street address, name, phone numbers, here's date of loss, 
Okay, here, here's a, a lot of a lot of stuff's already taken care of for me. If I go over to coverage loss, I've got a claim number, I've got a policy number, I've got a type of loss. Okay, so a lot of stuff is done for me. Um, now, in this particular scenario, I would go through uh, the whole estimating process that we've just learned. Uh, let's say, for instance, I wanted to create a couple rooms. All right, I'll call this a living room. Living room, and I'll call this a dining room. Dining room, and I'm going to throw some items in there real quick. We haven't done this yet, but uh, before we're done and we're going to look at macros, I'll do a uh, carpet in these rooms along with other items that you'd see uh, in a flood scenario. Okay, you'll see that those added right in there automatically. Already as a package. Don't fret, I will show you how to do that. Okay, so um, I've created an estimate that's been assigned to me. And uh, Brian, did you want me to go through any of the particular reports? Or would you like me just to complete this and, uh, and send it back to you so you can show us what happens on your end? Right now, let's hold off on reports because that's going to be client specific. Uh, have you gone over images with them, though? I have gone over images in general. Would you like me to go over images in this particular report? If you don't mind, if we could put throw some images in there, that way I can show them on the on the back end what happens. I don't mind at all. I'm going to click on images, folks. You'll recall that we clicked on the images tool. We chose load images. And I'll grab a few of these. I'll grab just these top six. Okay. And this is, uh, we'll just give it some verbiage uh, risk and roof, front, and hit OK. I'll go to print. Okay, I added uh, carpet there, so it's automatically giving me waste. Sounds good to me. And I will go through the process of um, making sure that everything is correct in my claim. Very important step, quality assurance. I look through it, resequence line numbers as needed, make changes, correction, depreciation. All right, looks good. Now, uh, I'm going to close that out. So far in our class, we've talked about the claim info tab, we've dealt with the sketch tab, and we've dealt with the estimate items tab. But we have not yet touched the complete tab, okay? And you guys are all going to go through this exercise in a minute. But right now, I'm, I'm going to go through the whole thing and send my report back to Brian. Um, you guys are being, going to be sending a report also. But I'm going to complete. When I go to complete, it's going to tell me what information is required, okay? Um, I've got the date contacted is empty. All right, and the date inspected, and I'll go ahead and call those both today. That should work fine. Okay, so I go back to complete. All right. Uh, Brian, do you want me to do some type of uh, estimating violation so I have to explain it? Yes, please. All right, so I'm going to go to estimate items. Why don't we go and ahead Adam, and... Uh, Adam, change, change the price on one and do a write-in yeah. on another. Okay. Okay, so you just you want me to go in and change, say, the price uh, here. Yeah. In in uh, okay, I think you're not going to be able to just type in price. I think uh, you have to go through this whole process. But let me just try it real quick. Okay. Sometimes that'll show a violation. Sometimes it won't. But then you also have yeah. lock the door without lock set. The heck. Okay, did we, were we able to get it? Okay, all right, good. So that we changed, we tweaked the price here, right, for clean stud wall heavy to a dollar square, a dollar per square foot. And then you wanted me to do a miscellaneous item here? 
correct.